Tom and I, I would say my line and then I would go like with my finger <laughs> and he'd know, I'm done, your turn. And then he would do his bit and then he'd go. Christian Bell, congratulations on your new film, The Pale Blue Eye. So this isn't a horror film. I've seen it described as a horror film. It's not a horror film. But you know, it's a, uh, it's a what do we call it, a crime thriller, a murder mystery, a whodunit. Christian Bell, every generation has a favorite Batman. And I feel like this would be a missed opportunity if I didn't so say Adam to your West face. Adam West is your favorite. Not even close. You are, I mean this, look it in your face saying this, you are my favorite Batman. Well, I do appreciate that, sir, very much. That I means mean, an awful lot. I feel like there's a lot of them. Th there's, there's been a lot of them. Maybe Adam West is a close second, but like, you are absolutely my favourite. Well, thank you. I feel like this would be a missed opportunity if I didn't do my only impression that I can do, which is Bane. Will, if you would, please. Oh, wait, I thought you were going to do me. No, it's no, Bane. no, 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 it's okay. Bane. I, right. I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dare. When Gotham is in ashes, then you have my permission to die. And scene. <laughs> that was good. Be honest, I'm a radio DJ. I can take criticism, Christian. Did it feel like Tom Hardy was You were giving Tom a run for his money there. You know, the thing that would happen between me and Tom, who's superb, by the way, what an actor, he's fantastic. And he, he won that jujitsu tournament recently. Just the other day, yeah, just in his spare time. We were so far apart. And I couldn't hear what he was saying because there was so much noise and he couldn't hear what I was saying because there was so much noise. And we were like, every time Chris was going, Chris Nolan, the director, was going, guys, you're not answering each other. Like, oh, we can't hear anything. So Tom and I, I would say my line and then I would go like, with my finger. <laughs> and he'd know, I'm done, your turn. And then he would do his bit and then he'd go like that, but a bit more you know, discreet than that. Hopefully no one notices it in the feature film, but See, that was how we communicate. And you, not a lot of people know this, you were the face of Pac-Man cereal when you were a kid. Oh, I mean, I don't know if that was the face, because like you said, not a lot of people know this and therefore hardly anybody ever saw it, right? <laughs> so I, I did do a thing for that, but my sister was actually in Bugsy Malone. Now, no way. Uh, uh, but are you talking down at the Haymarket? I mean, this is like, this is going Because she's to... the reason that I do this. Are you joking? This is I going wasn't back interested. to like the 90s. I wasn't interested. She did the, the, there was like a national radio thing, go audition for Bugsy Malone. My, my older sister, one of my older sisters was into dancing and acting. I couldn't give a damn. Um, she went and auditioned, got a role. She went and appeared in Bugsy Malone at the Haymarket Theatre. I always had to go hang around backstage because they had to take me with her. And that's when people went, oh, you, why don't you try for something? And that's how it all started from uh, Bugsy Malone. Are you saying, in some weird way, I know I'm sort of filling in the blanks here, I kind of helped start your career? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm, I'm reading in between the lines there a little bit. Yeah, deep between the lines. <laughs> Very deep between those lines. I love that. Christian, this has been an absolute dream come true. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. This is hard.